All right, sir, you're still under oath, okay? Yes, sir. All right, thank you, sir. All right, Cross, Mr. Steele. Thank you, Your Honor. You were released from prison in approximately 2017, is that correct? Yes, sir. And since you've been released from prison, you have been gainfully employed. You've been working, right? Yes, sir. And um, you work for, I believe, currently, the, and if I'm wrong, just tell us, for the city of Atlanta, is that right? No, sir. Who do you work with currently? I'd rather not say who I work for, sir. Okay, what do you do currently for a living? How about that? I'm a foreman. And explain what type of four person. A foreman. You said a foreman? A supervisor. Okay, for what type of work? Um, traffic control. Okay, traffic control. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Traffic control? A traffic control. Okay. And um, how long have you been doing that? Um, I really can't recall. One more time. I can't recall, sir. Has it been more than two years? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And are you working other jobs as well currently? No, sir. All right. With, um, in regard to your testimony last week, Thursday and Friday, you said a lot of, I don't recall, 2013. Do you remember something like that? Yes, sir. And I think you explained or tried to state that um, that was a bad time in your life. You blocked it out. If I'm misstating that, just correct me. You don't recall anything of 2013, sir. And why is that? I just don't recall. I don't remember. I just don't recall, sir. Do you remember things in 2014? No, sir. No? Yes or no? No, sir. 2015? I don't recall, sir. How about 2016? No, sir. 2017? I remember, I can't, I remember, I just remember what, what I need to remember in 2017. That's after prison, is that what you're saying? I mean, I, went, I was released from prison in 2017. And is your memory good after 2017 released from prison? Do you remember whenever month, I don't know the month, you're released from prison, you remember that? Is that what you're telling the jury? Yes, sir. And you remember then 2018? Your Honor, I object as to vague. Um, that's a broad question and not specific okay. enough. Okay, right. all right. Um, I'll stay in the question. Just rephrase, Mr. Steele. Do you have a memory of things you did in 2018? Again, objection, vague. I'll let him answer the question. I'm all over the question. You can answer it, sir. 2018, what I'm remembering in 2018. You don't? What am I remembering in 2018, sir? Anything, where you were working, how about that? No, I don't remember where I worked in 2018, sir. Okay, do you remember being home in 2018, not incarcerated? Yes, sir. All right, how about 2019, same question. What am I remembering? Same I'm question. Every year you asking me, what, what, you, what am I remembering for every year that you ask me about 20, this, by this certain type of year, that's what I'm trying to get you on the Answer my question. Do you remember where you were working in 2019? No, sir. Were you working in 2019? I don't remember. Were you living free in 2019? I'm free. Were you living with your wife in 2019? I've been with my wife in 2019. Same question. It's 2020. You remember that year where you were working? I've been doing the same job for quite a, some years now, so it'll run into all that. It's 24 now. I've been working by seven, eight years now. The working part's gonna be what you're asking me about, sir. And you remember that in 2020, right? Yes or no? Yeah. And 21, same question. Okay, remember yeah. that? I'm in my work. 21, I'm in my work 22, I'm in my work 23, I'm in my work 24. 
This year right now, what we're looking at? Three. You don't want to go back to prison, do you? If I had to go, I would. I went to prison. Do you want to I'd go have back? To, I'd have been to prison before. Okay. Did you enjoy prison? I stand objection. I mean, I, I did my, I did my time. Okay. You knew Officer Robertson L before September 11, 2013, right? I don't recall, sir. And on this one count, you entered a plea under Alford, and we'll discuss what that means. Ten years to serve three years in prison, right? Yeah, I don't recall it. October 2015. Yeah, I don't really remember anything. All right. I'm showing you what I've marked as today, Mr. Rankin, number 199. You can look at the whole document, okay? I'm not trying to rush you. I mean, this is your signature. I didn't write that. Is that your signature? I didn't write now. Whoa. Is your lawyer, you recognize the signature of A. Adams? That's your lawyer? I don't know how his signature would be, sir. Is that your lawyer? Yeah, that was my lawyer, but I can explain to you about his signature. And do you remember being charged and convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on September? For an incident on September 7, 2012, did commit an assault, assault by shooting a person named Cameron Randolph. Do you remember that? No. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. You're denying that. I mean, that was the paper said. I don't remember that. I don't remember nothing back then. Do you remember being charged in count two? With aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on the same day, September 7, 2012, by committing assault on James Butler by shooting James Butler. No, sir. I'm denying that. Yes, sir. You do realize you're on an oath. Yes, sir. Okay. Remember count three, being charged and convicted of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon on the seventh same day, seventh day of September. 7th day of September 2012, did knowingly and unlawfully. I don't remember that, Coach Steele. You had a firearm to wit a handgun. You were a convicted felon from indictment number 01 SC 03786, Superior Court, Fulton County, charged with possession of cocaine with intent to distribute on May 18, 2021. Are you denying that? Sir, I don't remember that, sir. And then on the last page, it has, again, your name and your identifying information, including 622-79's your date of birth, right? That's what the papers say. Your Honor, I have a certified copy of a conviction from the Honorable Fulton County Superior Court Clerk for State of Georgia versus Mr. Adrian Bean, same lawyer, same date, Judge Down, I have the plea colloquy if you want it. And in fact, I have um, the same date of birth on the document itself, and I move it into evidence. Have you shown that to the state? What, what of course. What are you marking there, sir? Uh, Mr. Williams, number 199. Any objection to Mr. Williams, 199? State has no objection to the self-authenticating document that is the certified conviction. That is Williams, 199. I'm not certain what the rest of Mr. Um, representation is regarding a colloquy, but the certified conviction the state has no objection. All right. I'll admit um, Jeffrey Williams uh, 199, the, uh, the, the um, actual certified copy of the, of the conviction. The other allied documents can be separated, okay? Your Honor, um, may I approach Mr. Bean with Mr. Williams number 199 that's in evidence as well as <coughs> States 157C, in case he needs to refer to them. Yes. May I approach you again? I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. 
showing you, and I'm going to leave with you in case you need to see them. Just let us know if you're looking at them. This is Mr. Williams, number 199 in evidence. This is State's Exhibit number 157C. Several times on last Thursday and Friday that you were given a choice. Is your answer you do not recall information on statements that you gave on recording to Detective Quinn on September 17, 2013, or are you saying it you did not? Yeah, I don't recall. And you specifically never said that you denied that it occurred. You just kept saying, I don't recall. Remember that? I, I, that's what I said. Now, you know and remember September 11th, 2013. The I don't recall is not true. You are not being honest to the jurors. Am I right? I don't remember, sir. Do you recall meeting with me and investigator James Martin, private investigator, and we were trying to get in touch with you, and we caught up with you on Sunday morning, approximately 11 o'clock in the morning, on January 22 of 2023. You remember that? Yeah, I don't really remember, though. Do you remember saying, because we were in front of your house, I'll speak with you, but let's go to the nearby Kroger. Remember that? Something like that. I mean, I don't really remember the conversation, though. Do you remember... Investigator Martin and me asking if we can record the conversation with you. Okay. Do you remember giving permission and said, that's fine? Okay. Do you remember me telling you, I only want the truth? Okay. Do you remember... You have an objection, madam? Objection as to Basis. the hearsay. The questions have been posed. Um, I think so he's going to ask them, so at least uh, is that your intent, Mr. Steele? I have to lay the foundation. Yeah. Your Honor, um, I, I'd like to approach as to the foundation. 